Hi, welcome back. We are in the last chapter of Esther, chapter 10. Super sad because I love Esther. Um, but I do, um, it's too far away for me to get. Um, after this episode, uh, I do have this like, um, this paper that a really good friend of mine gave and it's like the anointing of Esther. So it's super powerful. So I'm going to do a whole episode on that after, after today. And, um, that way I feel like it's going to empower so many people. Um, so this is the last chapter tomorrow will be the last of Esther. So sad. Um, but we're going to move on to another book. I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> so I am going to get into chapter 10. So chapter, oh wait, chapter nine. Um, there were all these like decrees of um, making it like legal holidays. Like it's a real holiday, um, the festival of Purim. And that's um, a day that, uh, that they will remember that the Jews were saved by Queen Esther, a woman who was supposed to be quiet and um, not get into any um, religious things or political things. So that's, a, that's breaking the norm right there. So um, chapter 10, the greatness of Xerxes and Mordecai. King Xerxes imposed a tribute throughout his empire, even to the distant coastlands. His great achievements and the full account of the greatness of Mordecai, whom the king had promoted, are recorded in the book of the history of, king, of the kings of Media and Persia. Mordecai the Jew became the prime minister with authority next to that of King Xerxes himself. He was very great among the Jews who held him in high esteem because he continued to work for the good of his people and to speak up for the welfare of all their descendants. So Mordecai was super elevated, right? Um, and so I, it's such a short chapter that I'm going to read all of the study Bible and what it says. And then there's just a short thing um, in my commentary Bible. So the study Bible says for verse three, Mordecai enjoyed a good reputation among the Jews because he was still their friend, even though he rose to a place of power. Corruption and abuse of authority often characterize those in power but power used to lift the fallen and ease the burden of the oppressed is powerful, used well. People placed by God in positions of power or political influence must not turn their backs on those in need, which often happens. Um, no archeological, <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally butchered that word. <laughs> Uh, records of Mordecai's being prime minister and second in command have been discovered. But during this time, there is a strange gap in ancient Persian records. Ooh. I, I do not remember reading this. So there are no records saying that Mordecai was second in command or prime minister. But there's a strange gap. Ooh, I got goosebumps. The records indicate that another man held that position in 465 BC, about seven years after Mordecai was first appointed. <clears throat> One tablet has been discovered naming Mardukaya as an official in the early years of Xerxes' reign. Some believe this is Mordecai. <laughs> That's interesting. Because these are like real facts, right? In the book of Esther, we clearly see God at work in the lives of individuals and in the affairs of a nation. Even when it looks as if the world is in the hands of evil people, God is still in control, protecting those who are his. Although we may not understand everything happening around us, we must trust in God's protection 
and retain our integrity by doing what we know is right. Esther, who risked her life by appearing before the king, became the hero. Mordecai, who was effectively condemned to death, rose because the second highest ranking official in the nation. No matter how hopeless our condition or how much we would like to give up, we need not despair. God is in control of our world. So the timing of reading Esther um, is perfect timing in 2020. Um, I'm at fault in freaking out. I'm at fault of like thinking doom. So um, that's where we go to God's truth and how um, our faith and obedience and everything. This is where we become elevated and not go into those lies that the enemy is trying to throw at us so that we can just live in despair and freaking out all the time. So I hope that really blessed you. And then lastly is um, in the commentary Bible. This is what it says for the end or just for chapter 10. Mordecai the Jew was second only to King Xerxes. He had been honored by the king and was famous among the Jews. Yet Mordecai knew that God had um, made him raised. What had happened was not merely for his sake, but for the sake of God, God's kingdom. Therefore, from that day on, he continued to speak for the well-being of his people. May the people of God do the same today. We need to speak up. We need to speak up for those um, that are standing up. We need to um, help them. We need to um, stand up ourselves. So I pray that Esther really blessed you, that you got more insight, that um, you thought of some things that you've never thought about before, that um, you just really enjoyed opening your Bible. So um, like I said, next the next episode will be the um, appointing of Esther. And I'm just going to read it from a paper. Hopefully I can maybe find a link to find. It's kind of like a study. Um, on Esther and how we can become like Esther in our appointing and rising up um, for the occasion and um, yeah so I'm I'm super excited to share that information with you guys again thank you for sticking with me through Esther I will be in prayer and um, if anyone wants to text me if you know me personally or comment below on what book we should read but um, this might actually, <laughs> never mind, don't comment below because I'm already going to start recording those before this is even uh, uploaded. So never mind, my mistake. So um, yeah, I will be praying on what book um, that we should be diving into. So I pray for all of you. I pray for all of the people watching, even if it's one person. I pray for you um, daily, pray over the YouTube channel and that um, God is gonna use it because I'm just stepping obediently in this. Um, don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, I'm not comfortable with this. And um, so I'm just praying for the one or the hundreds or the thousands, you know, like I'm just praying for everyone that's viewing this. So I love you guys. Thanks for sticking with me.